Canada has a strong immigration system, and we ensure that the rules are applied. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau actually said that with a straight face on Wednesday. Now, on the one hand, I do kind of agree with them. In some respects, we do have a strong immigration system. As for the second part of the statement, that we apply the rules, well, that's not always the case. Trudeau was responding here to a report by the Auditor General of Canada. And what they found was that the Canada Border Services Agency, quote, removed a few of the foreign nationals in Canada who were subject to enforceable removal orders. Let me give you a full quote here. Failed asylum claimants accounted for most of the cases in the agency's inventory. Most orders had been enforceable for several years. That's right in the report. Now, let me explain something. It's not easy to get a removal order from Canada. It's not easy to get deported. We are an open and welcoming country. We're generous. We have all kinds of appeal processes in place. Yet somehow, Canada Border Services Agency, the guys tasked with enforcing removal orders, lost 34,700 people who were supposed to have been kicked out. The crazy part, 2,800 of them were ordered deported due to criminal activity. Criminal. Where are they? Simple fact is, we don't know. And we should also point out, well, they could have left the country. They could be walking our streets. We don't know because CBSA simply lost them. In fact, the auditors even found that 1,536 removal orders that had been issued weren't in the CBSA system. In some cases, people subject to removal orders hadn't been checked up on by the authorities in years. That, ladies and gentlemen, is not applying the rules properly. So what's the Trudeau government going to do to fix this? What's the plan here? Well, here's what he told reporters at his news conference. And we will work on the recommendations put forward. We will make sure uh, that we are doing a better job of uh, ensuring the integrity of our immigration system. Uh, we will uh, be looking very closely and following the recommendations made by the Auditor General. Let me be blunt here. That's not exactly strong on detail, is it? It's not like you said, well, we're going to do this, we're going to do that, here's the plan. <sighs> I'm going to be honest with you. Canada does need a strong immigration system. That includes one that the public has confidence in. Reports like this undermine public support for our system. And unless issues like this are addressed, well, public support for immigration is simply going to fall. And we need immigrants in this country. I say that as a product of our immigration system. My parents moved to Canada three years before I was born. Most of the people that I grew up around, they were either immigrants or the children of immigrants from around the world, just like I was. Most of the people I grew up around were, well, like most Canadians, hardworking people that came to this country for one simple reason, because they loved what they had to offer, that it could give them and their families a better life. So let me fill in the PM on a secret that he may not know. No one hates stories about people cheating the system or the system being screwed up more than those who lined up and followed the rules to get here. Stories like this, if they're not dealt with, are going to cast a a shadow over the entire system. How can you have faith in a system that loses 34,700 people who a judge, a judge said, you got to get out of here, you're deported. And what does it say about our system when 2,800 people ordered deported for reasons of a criminal nature simply go missing? It says it's not working. Of course, I'm asking Trudeau to fix this. And I realize that this is a man and a government that encouraged illegal, immigra uh, illegal immigration into this country. Between 2017 and 2020, the government allowed, even encouraged 60,000 people to cross the border illegally, and it chastised those of us who wanted it stopped. It took a pandemic to end the flow at Roxham Road. Let's hope it doesn't take something worse for Trudeau to deal with this latest report.